In the previous video, we discussed about the immunoglobulin or antibody structure. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we will be discussing about the immunoglobulin classes in humans, which are defined by its heavy chain isotype and its structure. We have five different classes of immunoglobulins. It's IgA, IgD, IgE, IgG and IgM. Here in our discussion, we will see the heavy chain isotype, light chain isotype, percentage of total immunoglobulin and the form in which the immunoglobulin is present, whether it's monomer, dimer, trimer or so on. We know the immunoglobulin are classified on their heavy chain isotypes. Immunoglobulin A has alpha heavy chain, IgD has delta heavy chain, IgE has epsilon heavy chain, IgG has gamma heavy chain and IgM has mu heavy chain. In the same way there is another immunoglobulin named as IgY which is found in birds, reptiles and the blood of lung fishes. And this immunoglobulin has epsilon heavy chain. Now getting to the light chain isotypes and we see there are only two types of it which can either be kappa or lambda chain on all the immunoglobulins. Then we look at the total percentage of immunoglobulin present in the serum. We see IgA is 10 to 15 percent of total immunoglobulin. IgD and IgE is only 1 to 2 percent of total immunoglobulin present, whereas IgG is most abundant of all, and it constitutes the 75 to 80 percent of total immunoglobulin, whereas IgM is about 5 to 10 percent of total immunoglobulin. Now let's see in which forms these different immunoglobulin occurs. The immunoglobulin A occurs in monomer as well as in dimer form. And the dimer form is also termed as secretory form of IgA. Then IgD, IgE and IgG occurs in monomer form only. Whereas IgM mostly occurs in pentamer form but can occur in monomer form as well as it is expressed on plasma membrane of beta lymphocytes as a monomer. Another important thing to note here is that there are additional structures added to the IgA dimer and its J chain which joins the two monomers of IgA and there is also secretory chain or secretory component. In the same way immunoglobulin M2 has J chain and there is also presence of extra constant domain in its heavy chain which we can see in the structure of immunoglobulin E also. Now let's see the structures of these immunoglobulins. First we have the IgA immunoglobulin monomer. The yellow ones are the heavy chains and pink ones are the light chains. Top four domains constitute the variable domains as shown in the diagram and rest are the constant domains. Furthermore if we see how we get the dimer form of IgA we see Two monomers are linked via J chain as shown in the diagram to form as the dimer form of IgA. And we also have secretory component that wraps around the two monomers of IgA as shown in the diagram. It wraps around two tail ends of IgA monomers. So this forms as the complete IgA dimer. Then we have IgD and IgG which occurs in monomer forms only as shown in the diagram. And in the same way IgE has same structure but here it has one extra domain in its heavy chain as shown in the diagram. Now looking at the IgM antibody. It too has same monomeric structure as of IgE antibody but it occurs in pentameric structure as shown in the diagram. This pentamer form of IgM has also J chain in its structure as shown in the diagram. So these are the basic immunoglobulin structures shown in the diagrams. Now let's see some information regarding the immunoglobulins. The IgA is present in external secretions like breast milk, saliva, tears and mux of gastrointestinal tract, respiratory epithelium and many more. The IgA occurs in two forms IgA1 and IgA2. The IgA is present in monomeric form. Then we have IgD which is membrane bound immunoglobulin which is expressed by mature B cells. It plays role in activation and differentiation of B cells. Moving towards IgE antibody, it mediates the hypersensitivity reactions. 
most specifically the type 1 reactions. It also binds mast cells and provides immunity towards parasites. Moving towards IgG antibody which is the most abundant immunoglobulin in serum. And this is the only immunoglobulin that can pass through the placenta towards the fetus. And it too has four forms, one, two, three, four. It's released by plasma cells and is major component of humoral immunity. It also plays role in ADCC and mediates classical pathway. Then finally we have the immunoglobulin M which is present in membrane bound B cells and activates complement system. That is the classical pathway. So this is the brief overview of their functions and the structures of immunoglobulins. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.